Write down the notation for the eighth coefficient in the 13th row of Pascal's triangle. Write down the notation for the eighth. Now that's actually very simple. They don't ask us to actually calculate it. Um, I'm going to show you how to calculate it, but just to show what's happening in A. Um, so the notation for the eighth coefficient looks like this. So remember that the first coefficient will be in the 13th row will be 13, 0. That will be the first coefficient. The second one will be 13, 1. Um, so this is the first. This is the second. The third one will be 13, 2, not the 13, 2. So we can see that this number here, what we have over here, is always one less than the coefficient that we have. So the first coefficient is 0, second is 1, third is 2, which means that the eighth coefficient of 13 means that that R value, so N will be 13, that will be the 13th row, but R will be, the eighth coefficient will be 7 due to what I've just showed you here, which means that the notation for that is C, because it's a combination, um, 13, and we're looking at the seventh one. Okay, the way that I would calculate this will be 13 factorial divided by 7 factorial and 7 and or 13 take away 7 will be 6 factorial. And that's how I would leave my answer if it was asked in the exam. Question number B. They say calculate the value of 75. So 75 will be um, is the same equals 75. That is the same as um, 7 factorial divided by 5 factorial and 5 factorial take away, or 7 take away 5 is 2 factorial. Remember this, always need to add up to the top, which is 7. Um, by now you should know that to cancel 5 factorial with something at the top, it means that I have at the, the top 7 times 6 times 5 factorial, which is going to cancel with this 5 factorial. Okay, divide by 2 factorial, which is divide by 2. 2 go himself once and 6 3 times. 7 times 3, uh, seven times three is 21. In our last question that we're going to ask here, a nice bright grey, um, they ask us for factorial, so calculate, or now verify, that 16.5 equals 16.11. Now, if this was a calculator, all you do is you put this in your calculator, bada bing, bada bang. Okay. How I would do it is the following. I'll say left-hand side, if this was a non-calculated equation, left-hand side is 16.5, which means that, um, therefore, N is 16, R is 5, Therefore, I have n factorial divided by r factorial, multiply by n take away r factorial. That equals 16 take away 5, and 5, five factorial, this is 16 factorial, this will be 5 factorial multiplied by 11 factorial. My right hand side, equals 1611. In other words, n equals 16 and r equals 11. Therefore, the right hand side equals n factorial divided by r factorial n minus r factorial. That gives us 16 over 11 factorial multiplied by 16 take away 11 is 5 factorial and you will see that 5 factorial 11 is the same as 11 factorial 5. Therefore, left-hand side equals right-hand side. And that's all you need to do in a non-calculated exam.